Hi everyone, this is Odd Samurai and today I'm gonna be reacting to Chainsaw Man chapter 115. Uh, I hope everyone had a great time, uh, just in Christmas. Even if you didn't celebrate it, I hope you had a good day. For me though, uh, my brother, uh, gave me a Pachita plushie for Christmas. So fluffy, it's so cute. I wanted it ever since the anime started. And yeah, I just sleep with it pretty much <laughs> every night now. So he's gonna be reading the chapter with me. Okay. Just, you know, he's gonna be here. Uh, I was spoiled about one thing about this chapter. At least it was just one. Uh, and it's about Yoshida knowing something. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I think about it when we get to it in the chapter though. Ooh, so let's just start. Uh, it's titled High Schoolers These Days. <laughs> I think that's what Yoshida said, uh, like in the last chapter. He was like, wait, high schoolers these days? Do they have cell phones now? And then people in Twitter were like, wait, is Yoshida older than he looks? Why is he talking like an old man? I, I don't think the wording is weird. <clears throat> uh, just, you know, he's saying basically like, He's counting himself on like, wait, high schoolers, including me, now have a uh, cell phone and I didn't know. Because he's not <clears throat> a regular high schooler, he's a uh, public safety, so he's probably not, you know, in the ends of what high schoolers do. Oh yeah, and I, I don't think we knew he was with public safety before 114. We knew he was like a private public hunter, but yeah, he wasn't with them. So I think that that was new information. And I, I didn't realize. Oh yeah, so Asa is just laying on the ground of the aquarium. Which, I mean, I don't blame her after the big fail she had. This is the aquarium from hell. Once you go, in, you'll never get out. The hallway goes on endlessly and lock hands don't move. That's right. Time freezes there. You cannot flush the toilets and the fat and the fishes started running in their tanks yesterday. What? Wait, how many days has it been? I thought, okay, I, I guess we're just going in. We'd, we, we'd have escaped by now if you just hadn't broken that cell phone. <laughs> Haruka just drilling it in once again. That's, that face of us, I just feeling like, ugh, like I don't know that already. <laughs> You're a chainsaw man, why don't you do something? You know what? Yeah. I am chainsaw man? What are you talking about? What? You, you, you showed her your ripcord before. Oh, did you... what? The starter on your chest? Oh, that... You don't tell me he actually forgot. Bro, he's so fishy. And I don't say it because he's next to the fish tank. That's a surgical implant? Is one of the reasons the same I'm the man who comes closest to Chainsaw Man. Really, now. I... Yeah, I'm gonna remain skeptical about that. Well, to be fair, I don't think he's lying about the surgical implant. He, it was almost put in there uh, artificially. Either that or, you know. Oh, we'll see. Uh, what? President of the Chainsaw Man so Society High School Chapter. Runner-up in the Chainsaw Man Quiz Show Contest. Owner of every piece of Chainsaw Man mer merchandise. I cannot blame you for thinking I was him. Wait, is he a Chainsaw Man fanboy? Bro, I swear if Haruka is a red herring and he's not actually the fake Chainsaw Man that killed Yuko, <laughs> Fujimoto would do that, I feel like. So uh, you thought, huh? Wait, so you aren't Chainsaw Man? <laughs> Oh god, he's just going on a crazier laugh now. 
If I were Chainsaw Man, we could have broken out of this hellhole in no time. <laughs> yeah, well, we do have the real Chainsaw Man, and apparently he hasn't done anything to get you guys out. And, and himself, of course. I don't know what Tenji is doing. Why isn't he searching for the Eternity Devil? Maybe he is, and he just hasn't found him. Save me, Chainsaw Man! I'm in here! Oh god. Oh god, the poor guy is crying. Uh -huh. SOS, SOS to Chainsaw Man! Well, I guess we're all showing our shameful sides this time now. <clears throat> I'll accept it. <laughs> oh, so, so they're listening, huh? Okay, let, let's see what Tenji is gonna say. That's your cue, Chainsaw Man. Isn't there something you can do? God, why is Yoshida so cheeky? Tenji <laughs> just looks at him like, Can you not? <laughs> I was able to kill the devil last time because it came at us. This one's nowhere to be found. My hands are tied. Well, technically, yes, it did that, but it was also Aki actually looking for it. And he was the one that gave you the information. Can't you do something? Oh? What? Wait, okay. <clears throat> of course Yoshida has a cell phone and he just wouldn't say anything about it. <laughs> and he would act all surprised and shit when Asa pulls it out. Ah, uh, you cheeky, cheeky little bastard. Look at him smiling and everything. You had one too? Unfortunately, a signal alone isn't enough to get a call out. It feels like it's been over three days. If help hasn't arrived by now, I'm guessing time inside the aquarium has stopped. Oh, so he was able to... to get a signal. But he just wasn't able to call anybody. That's why he didn't say anything, because the cell phone was useless anyway. <clears throat> so, okay. It, well, it makes sense. The others all seem to have given up. Segi just seems to be punching air. To be honest, even I made peace with death this time. Bro Benny just seems to be licking a fish tank, which... Fair enough. We don't have his name, but I'm I'm just calling Robin. <laughs> we have one panel. Of <laughs> I I cannot I can't deal with Yoshida sometimes, bro. <laughs> like I really like him, but <laughs> he's he's so mysterious sometimes. Like you can obviously tell when he's lying sometimes, but then when he really tries, there's no way you can actually know what he uh, it's on his mind. Especially with that damn smile. But it seems very significant. Do you think Chainsaw Man would eat it for us? The Death Devil. What? Wait, what is he? Oh, because he... I was gonna say, why did he bring up the Death, the death Devil? Because he said, I made up with Death. I made peace with Death this time. I was like, well, if he ate the Death Devil, that wouldn't be a problem with it, would it? That wasn't a, a smooth transition, Yoshida. To the topic that you really wanted to talk about. Yeah, but that last scene, that wasn't true, was it? You obviously haven't given up. And then you just looks at him like... Um, the others all are all starting to lose it. You holding up okay? Oh, okay. He's not gonna acknowledge it. He's basically calling him crazy. For some reason, Asa looks like she's inside the tank, but I think it's just because they're in a different side of the hallway. Or maybe she's just inside the tank. She's just that desperate and you hopeless. Why not? I'm hungry. So, eat some fish. I can't eat fish. Oh yeah? And... We have another classic of Fujimoto reusing panels to show that 
the person is just not moving or reacting to something. <clears throat> sorry about the noise. I'm sorry for asking you on a date. It's my fault you got mixed up in this. What? Okay. Yay! As a finally, finally taking some respons responsibility on this. Because it is technically her fault. Even though she didn't um, anticipate Fami coming into this. She still had um, ominous intentions for asking Denji out. And I'm glad she, she's owning up to it. Even if Denji doesn't know, like, why. <laughs> why she would be apologizing. Because it's more than just being a poor... And not letting him see the penguins, obviously. But yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of proud of her at this moment. You won't understand this, but I was trying to turn you into a weapon. Holy shit! She's actually saying it. It would be funny though <laughs> that just like she doesn't believe uh, Denji about Chainsaw Man, then just be gonna be like, uh, right, <laughs> right, you can do that totally. But even cornered and starving like this, I just can't do it. Not because I don't have the guts, or because it goes against my principles. Interesting that she's admitting that. <clears throat> that, you know, she would have the, you know, the upside twisted morals to actually do that. Knowing that she hasn't really done anything to him, or, you know, Something really that fell. The real reason I can't is because I have no idea what's right or wrong. My life is just one long string of attempts to avoid making mistakes. Wow. I, <clears throat> I feel like I should have seen this one coming, but uh, yeah, no. No, looking back on it, it, it's pretty obvious now. With the whole, you know, the conversation she had with Yuko before she died of like, I'm laughing with my friend even though, you know, she killed a few people. Does that make me an awful person? I don't know. <clears throat> so obviously, you know, her morals were skewed, but I didn't know how much. That's why, that's why I'm total, I'm a total bore. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah. This is just, this is exactly what I wanted from Asa. Uh, ever since 113. And we haven't even got any Denji panel so far. I'm hoping she was actually listening. Uh, what are you muttering to yourself about? Yeah, so muttering, so that means he didn't understand a single thing she said. And I'm guessing she's not gonna repeat it. Fujimoto, why would you do this? <laughs> you obviously, obviously, obviously. <laughs> could have made it so that Denji and Asa could have had this nice moment of, you know, just sympathizing with each other and actually opening up and, you know, actually making a bond here but no uh -uh. and oh uh, man asa just looks so so distraught like oh no you're telling me everything i just said it was all for nothing and he, obviously she probably feels just shameful that uh that to say it again you can't eat fish, right? Ta-da! Ever tried starfish? That's my boy, trying to look for alternatives. Not really, like, you may think I'm trying to joke. That That's, I generally think that's just trying to be considerate. You don't like fish? Okay, you don't have to eat it then. Here, have something else? <clears throat> But yeah, that, that really, really sucks. 
the Denji and Asa just couldn't couldn't have a honest moment between themselves. And I uh, and it wasn't something where I, was, I just wanted Denji to actually know it. Even if he didn't believe her. I just wanted him to hear it. Because that was a really big <laughs> that was a really big moment for Asa. You know, just acknowledging she was wrong. And acknowledging her faults. But nope. I really hope this doesn't make her regress again. <clears throat> I wanna be I wanna be something I want. Uh but yeah that that was a complete shame. <clears throat> but I'm sure I'm sure uh it won't be for nothing though. I'm sure it'll come up sometime in the future again. Who knows when though. Um uh, but for some reason Fujimoto just doesn't want Denji and Asa to have a you know uh, one to one, fully honest conversation between them, just to keep the. Well, will they stay? Will they keep trying to be enemies? And by they, I mean just Asa. <clears throat> so yeah, that's not <laughs> what I wanted, of course. Okay, but now that the chapter is over. I want to talk about the ch the Yoshida moment. So, <clears throat> so obviously he knows that chainsaw, the chainsaw devil can eat other devils and they'll um, get erased from existence. You know, when Makima explained Kishibe back in part one. Um, but you know that begs the question, right? How does Yoshida know about this? Since even someone as uh, high ranking in public safety like Kishiba didn't know. Uh, the wall all comes racer, right? The most simple answer would be, well, Kishiba told them. Uh, then the question after all would be, why? Um, it would be quite um, a move, an action of trust from Kishiba to tell Yoshida that um, and, you know, know that Yoshida wasn't going to take advantage of it. But again, it is definitely very interesting how he decided to bring it up now. And that obviously he didn't push it after Denji just brushed him off. But he's letting Denji know he knows more stuff about... They change the devil. And, well, who knows what that could mean for their future. <clears throat> Does she, Yoshida definitely acting a little suspicious now. Why ask that now, here? Like, I understand this is a rare moment that he gets to spend with Denji. Because usually Denji will just try to... Avoid him unless he gets free food. But it, it has been very interesting, especially the the devil, the specific devil that he decided to mention, which is the death devil, the last of the four horsemen. So uh, I, maybe he knows actually about the four horsemen too. I, I've seen people say maybe he knows what's happening with Asa and Yoru. Maybe he knows Asa actually does have the war devil within her. But then, how does that benefit Yoshida? How... Well, obviously he would want to get rid of uh, the war devil. For one, it's a problem, but also it's trying to get rid of Denji as well, so... I mean... It's also Fami too. Getting, trying to get rid of Denji. But I don't, I don't know if it's but for personal reasons, but it's true, so. I don't know. Maybe Yoshida's not trying to be, you know, uh, 
you know, he doesn't have heinous intentions. I don't know. Maybe I'm just um, in healing some opium here. <laughs> um, but who knows? Only the future will tell with what Yoshida. What 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 is going on around in Yoshida's head here? But yeah, that was the chapter. Um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.